my last year at Acadia, I was in fourth year, and um, all the previous three years, it's all biochemistry and physics and hard courses with labs, so you're, you're working your butt off all the time. Yeah. So anyway, I found out that I got into med school. So that, I said, I'm going to take a bird course. Literally. <laughs> I thought, how hard can it be? I can still remember thinking I was so smart. I remember saying to Francie, like, you know, there's blue jays, cardinals, seagulls, eagles. What more do you need to know? <laughs> and it turned out to be the hardest course. There are about 70 different kinds of gulls. And there's, you know, yearlings and second year gulls and third year gulls. And all their plumage is different. And sparrows, there must be 50 different sparrows. Anyway, I was terrible at it. I was well, uh, after that, I swore off birds. But, but they kept creeping back into my life, right? I don't know, one day I googled bird photography, but I fell down that rabbit hole and uh, I bought a better camera and then a better camera and then a better camera and then I took a couple of uh, photography workshops and I did a lot of self-learning and, you know, going to websites and looking at people's work and, and uh, then started traveling with friends and meeting people and anyway, so it's become a passion really. I wonder, like, what would I do if I didn't have the birding? Like, you know, if I go a couple of weeks without picking up my camera, like, I'm just itching to get out. Like, I just, like, there's yeah. something missing in my life.